I name this activity as detail okay so create an intent to pass values from this activity to this activity in this we will we can use this a context and class name so context is main activity dot this and class is detail dot class now put that values in this intent so use send data dot put string extra extra this is a key value pair so pass a key i am using p underscore name for name and the same way put all these values p underscore email P underscore gender P underscore URL which is deep URL I'm shifting this on top so I can access this inside if else okay so now values are stored in that intent so now start activity only start activity and pass that intent okay so when user successfully login then he will redirect to that activity so now display that items in this activity so first change this layout to linear layout so first display profile picture so take an image view as a wrap content then text view then again text view and then again text view so this is for profile picture so give it an id dp name email and gender so change orientation to vertical and give it margin so they will display separately okay so this is ready now find that fields in activity So get this value so 
so there is a method get intent so create an intent get intent so this will automatically get this value in this variable we can fetch that values from this intent so start fetching this make some string I will make them by name name is equal to i dot get string extra and pass string name which we have passed here which is p underscore name and the same way fetch all values okay so these all values are fetched here so set name dot set text i underscore name email dot set text i underscore email but we will not pass this here because this is an image view and this is a string so dp.set image bitmap but it requires a bitmap so we need to first create a bitmap so comment it and create a bitmap bitmap bmp is equal to bitmap factory dot decode stream and it requires a stream so comment this and create a stream so this is a string we will convert this in url and then open http connection and then get input stream from this so url url is equal to new url and pass string here which is i underscore url so we need to handle this exception so surround by try and catch now we can open connection from this url url dot open connection and we can get input stream from here get input stream and we also need to handle this exception so add clause catch and store this input stream in input stream variable so now we have input stream and we can pass this in this okay so we have we need to pass this inside try and catch so now we have bitmap so we can provide this here so copy this from here and paste here but when we run this then our app will crash because we are doing network in main thread 
because this is network should be inside another thread so make an anonymous thread here and implement runnable here and start so copy this inside thread so we need to so we need to make it final okay, so now this is ready but there is another problem because this is in a new thread so we can't directly change main thread from this thread because that image view in main thread and and this whole process in new thread so there is a method in main activity which is run on ui thread so run on ui thread and implement runnable inside this method now we can pass this value here so this is completely ready so change bmp to final okay so when we run this we will get profile picture and then name and then email and then gender but if you want to implement this in your project then i will suggest you to use custom library like holy library i use this thread because i want to show you that how this is working okay so this is now ready but we need to give internet permission to our app so open manifest file and add uses permission internet okay now run this I'm going to run this app in my mobile. So I have used that thread here. So the problem is it will take some time to load data. And when you try to reopen this app, then this will again download that image. But if you use Holy Library, then Holy Library will store emails as, as a cache. So you can access this offline also. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubt, then please comment below. Share this video if you like this video. Thank you once again.